How's it going everyone? Brodos, I'm here. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable uh, motion blur uh, on Bloodborne so you can use it with uh, the PS4 emulator, Shad PS4, and uh, uh, in addition to uh, other patches such as skipping the intro, uh, force enabling the old Hunters DLC, uh, disabling chromatic aberration, and more. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is install Python onto your computer. So uh, for this, we're going to need to install Python. Uh, once you have Python installed on your computer, you need to download the uh, PyPatcher here, the Windows version right here. Once you have this uh, downloaded to your computer, you need to go ahead and download the old patches folder, which can be found here. We need this folder, patch zero. So just go ahead and download the whole uh, repository. Once you have both uh, files downloaded to your computer, just go ahead and extract the uh, PyPatcher here. And then you have to uh, open the uh, console patches uh, repository. And then we're going to extract the patch zero folder here. And we're going to rename it, remove the underscore, and that's it. So uh, the thing about this uh, patches here is that the Bloodborne patch, which can be found here, is old. And it doesn't have the new patches, such as uh, enabling the uh, old Hunters DLC, force enabling, and uh, uh, disabling VSync and stuff. So I have made this... Uh, this patches uh, YML file so you can just use the patches for example you can use the disable vsync patch you can use force enable the old hunters DLC so yeah I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description so you can download it so uh, what we're gonna do is copy this and we're going to go to Orbis and we're going to paste it here and then overwrite, replace the file in the destination and there you have it. Now we need to open PyPatch and it's going to ask you to update the database. There is no database so we cannot update it so just select N for no and now we need to drag and drop the eBoot bin which is the executable. So we need to go here to the game and we need to, first of all, we need to decrypt the eBoot. So we're going to drag and drop it into the, onto the unself and let it decrypt it. Okay, just give it a moment. And there you go, it's been finished. Now we're just going to delete the original one. Oh, oops. I'm going to delete the original one and rename the decrypted one eboot.bin. Okay, now I'm going to drag and drop it here and press enter. Now you should see two options, uh, which is the first one is pick file from the folder and the second one is type patch. The first one is obviously the easiest, so just press enter and you should see a list of uh, patches that you select from. Now scroll down till you see Bloodborne and press enter. Now you will see a list of patches. Let me just enlarge this you will see a list of patches and you move with the arrow so you're going to select the patches that you want to apply for example you want to you want to disable motion blur you're going to press space okay you selected this and you want to enable 60 fps you're going to press start uh, press the space button again so i have selected two patches to apply and once you select the patches that you want to apply, just press enter and they should start applying, as you can see. Now we are patching the eBoot of Bloodborne to run at 60 FPS without motion blur. Okay, so once it's finished, it's going to create a folder here 
Okay. Successfully save patched file to this folder, which is this one right here. Eboot bin patched. You're going to open it and you're going to copy this eboot and you're going to go back to your game and you're going to delete the original one and then you're going to paste the new one and there you have it you are done if you want to apply other patches more patches you can just uh, you can just select uh, return to patch entry select and then we can select for example skip intro press enter and it has been done select exit program and we have exited I'm gonna drag and drop eboot here again and replace file okay let's just go ahead and open the emulator and um, I selected skip intro right so what we should see now there is no Sony interactive entertainment or from software all of that should be skipped we should boot straight into the game so let's just go ahead and do that let's just hope it boots let's hope it boots um with all of the recording so if it goes straight into the title screen that means the patch has been applied successfully if it shows a sony interactive entertainment that means it's a failure so it should boot straight into a new game or continue there you have it it went straight into the uh, title screen without the intro now we'll simply go and try to so yeah that's how you do it that's how you install these kind of patches onto bloodborne uh, you can use this with the ps4 emulator shad ps4 so that's it that's the end of this video if you enjoy this kind of content if you want to see more make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and if you want to support the channel there is the thanks button under the video you can use the thanks button to show support that's it take care and i will keep you updated see you soon